video portraits of American trendsetters. 10 cities across the country, five episodes in each city. This week, strong creative partnership and blowtorches with Kizi Pollock. Yes. We're doing yeah. it. Okay, okay. Oh my god, it's cold. How's your your moment? Oh, that's a great face. Awesome. Smile those eyes up. Crinkle time. Give us a thumbs up if you're doing all right. Thumbs up, yeah. Can you hear us? about your work. What do you guys do? We're painting and we're sculpting and we're photographing. We do a lot of life casting to make life-size bodies to melt and to use to tell stories and to use as props in photographs. And use them in many different ways. Mostly destroying them and documenting that process. Our whole practice is based on a question of strong versus weak. We put really weak materials against strong forces, like wax against heat. And you match those things up and you just see how they survive. Some people call it video art, some people call it ephemeral sculptures, blah de blah And all of those labels seem to not fit. Oh, all right. Hello there. Hello. Oh, Welcome yeah. back. <laughs> that is one of the most strange experiences I've ever had. <laughs> Woohoo! Look, there's your smirk right there. Is it more about the process and developing these processes more than some crazy ass specific vision? You know, it's kind of all wrapped up. It's hard to separate those two things. There is a vision. It's not like we're like show up in the morning and like, hmm, what do we do? We've got sketchbooks and sketchbooks from the last five years full of the overarching conceptual ideas about how we would want something to happen. And then just as many full of like, this wax melts at this temperature and when combined with this, it forms blah, blah, blah. This isn't to say that it's with scientific precision, but it's not random. That's crazy. How is it fitting on my body, though? Terribly. <laughs> Tell me anything. Yeah, I think it, some of the adjustments could be on my end, but maybe if you could kind of like get your, yeah, 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 yeah. In the last gallery show, we did it all with faces. So we did all of this trickery without Photoshop at all, holding the masks in different ways. We want these body masks to kind of be as if it's one person in struggle with themselves. There are photographs that if you looked at just quickly and walked by, it takes a little more investigation and looking closer to see like the extra set of hands or the awkwardness of the head and how it doesn't actually fit on the body. Maybe we should fill her head before we paint it so we don't have to manhandle it very much because this is an idea. Okay, so how about some like a bright orange right here. Sure. Oh, that's where this bomb that I just made can go in. Fuchsia, don't forget. So we're preparing right now for a show here in Seattle in December. So our goal for this show is to cast 40, is what we're saying right now, full bodies out of Crisco and butter and Vaseline and oil and different waxes and just as many things as we can find that melt. I'm just gonna use all of the orange Vaseline here. That's great. Okay. These ones look really boring, but they are fucking potent. They're these guys too, huh? Oh yeah, those are really pigmenty too. What's crazy is that both of our hands touch everything that we do. So it's really, really difficult to separate, like I did this and she did that. 
it's all blurs together because we're constantly like moving things back and forth, like ideas and objects. There's not very many people, I can't think of actually anyone else who I'd feel comfortable making something with and putting my name on. Yeah, she's cooking. She's cooking, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh wow, that red is doing things. One conversation that we have in our practice a lot is what is the difference between destruction and creation? And can they be confused? Can they be the same? You know, people see all the work that goes into um, sculpting and carving and painting and they say, and you guys just melt them. But for us, what is an end point for a lot of people in like the sculptural world is our starting point. It's really beautiful that things are around for only a short time. And for me, that ties into people that you love that are no longer around. So for me, that is emotional. Next time on American Hipster Presents, who puts the lineup together? We are with the programming team at Bumbershoot. It's over here, hanging out with Keezy and Pollock, learning about casting and molding and melting and emotion. Drinking some pickle juice mixed with whiskey. Let us know what you think of the episode. Leave a comment, click on the links, subscribe, goodbye.